Hey guys, so I was challenged by Miss Debbie Nixon to do a get to know you a while ago and I just haven't done it yet. I'm so sorry, Miss Debbie. But there are five questions and I've added in just a few more because I figured that you guys might wanna know these things if you don't already know them. But if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments if I don't answer them in, um, in this video. So I apologize, I'm gonna be looking down because I have the questions written down in front of me. So let's get started. The first one says, are you a lefty or a righty? I'm a righty. The second one, are you single or taken? I am married. It will be 12 years <laughs> in November. <laughs> Number three, um, name three positive traits about yourself. Hmm. I think I'm a pretty positive thinker. Like, I try to look on the bright side of situations. I try to um, encourage people as much as I can because I have so many incredible people in my life that encourage me. And so I try to put out that same energy whenever um, I can. As that's one, uh, another positive trait. Well, this kind of goes along with the first one. <laughs> um, I'm a giver. But I'm a giver because that's all I know. Like my mom and dad, well, my dad has passed now, um, but my parents, my mom, she still is a giver. My sisters are givers, like just everybody in my family. And if you watch my um, grocery hauls, then you hear sometimes about <laughs> the things that my family members have given us. I mean, I mentioned before how we have been so incredibly blessed to buy so little clothing for our kids because we have cousins and um, fa family and friends that bless us with clothing for them. And so because of that, because of who other people are in my life, they have encouraged me and influenced me to also be a giver. So yeah, I think that's another positive trait. And let's see a third one hmm I'm a pretty good judge of character um, there's a saying that I heard once when someone shows you who they are the first time you know believe them and I I pretty much I go along with that you know I try to keep myself around people that bring good energy and um, those that don't you know you sometimes have to love people from a distance and so i have learned to protect my peace and that is so very important no matter who you are all right number four name three negative traits hmm mm. i'm forgetful <laughs> i am so forgetful um it's really quite sad like I have a cousin and we are only a month apart and he'll you know we'll be in conversation sometimes and we're like do you remember when this happened you know in first grade and I'm just like mm -mm. but I mean it doesn't even go back as far you know it doesn't even have to be as far back as first grade like I have a hard time remembering things that happened last year like I think sometimes there's just so many things in my brain, like my thoughts are just all over the place sometimes that I just have a hard time capturing it. Um, and so that's definitely a negative trait. Um, that's something that I really wanna work on. Let's see, another negative trait. Hmm. I'm pretty stubborn. Anybody in my family will tell you if I have made up my mind to do something that's what I'm gonna do. Like, it's pretty hard to change my mind from something once I've locked it in. If it's locked in, that's pretty much the way it's gonna be. It's not always the best thing. Sometimes it's positive, but um, it also can be negative. Let's see. Mm. Hmm. I think this one can be either or, but, um, I'm a pretty emotional person. So I'll mention this. Well, I guess I'm mentioning it now. So before I was a stay-at-home mom, I was a bereavement coordinator for hospice 
Um, so my past is social work. And one of my job duties was to go to funeral services and to visit with the family members, sometimes prior to the death and then um, always after, and then I would do follow up with them for a year. And um, it was something that I really had to pray to God and ask him to help me with because, you know, I don't want to go to someone's funeral that I'm supposed to be supporting and, you know, be in tears and stuff myself. And, um, and so God really helped me with that. Um, and I've kind of learned how to deal with those emotions, but I still am a pretty emotional person. Like my skin is pretty soft. Like I, um, I, I don't want to say get offended easily, but if someone says something to me and it kind of rubs me the wrong way, like I have a hard time shaking that sometimes. And so sometimes, um, that's not such a great thing, but it is what it is. Let's see. And number five, where do you see your YouTube channel in five years? Wow. I don't know. In five years, I mean, I'm enjoying what I'm doing now. Like, I really wanted to do YouTube so I could show people that were vegan like me how to save on their groceries. Um, my niece really encouraged me, like, you should do it, you know, like, you're a mom of three and you know you're couponing and you're doing these deals and stuff you know you should really i think she first encouraged me to do instagram or maybe it was youtube first i can't remember um but now i'm not really on instagram but i really enjoy youtube like i find it so much fun like i love watching grocery hauls and so i just think it's so nice and i really appreciate it when you guys come to my channel and watch my videos and you comment and you know we're sometimes talking about the deals and stuff like I love coupon and I can talk that coupon lingo like all day long. So I really find that um, a lot of fun. And now that I've kind of thrown vlogs into it, like I'm really excited about that because like I just said, I have a hard time remembering things. And it's really sad because I've been home with my kids since they have been born, you know, and some of those really awesome moments like I have a hard time remembering like all the details of them and so with vlogging like of course I'm not like every moment I'm not capturing but the moments that I am I'm glad that I have these videos to look back on and hopefully my kids will be able to look back on those one day um, as well so in five years you know possibly I hope that I'll be doing um, some of the same I really want to do more travel, so hopefully that will be incorporated into my videos as well. Um, so here are a few more questions that I just thought to add on. The first one is, um, what's your favorite color? Pink. I love pink. Like, it's just so beautiful to me. I absolutely love it. Do you like that, Alexandra? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, pink's my favorite color. Um, some of you have asked this question and so I wanted to tell you, I think I've told you guys, but I wrote down, when did you go vegan? And I wanted to get the absolute date today. So I checked my email and I know this because I went vegan in 2017 and I remember it um, from a prize that I won. So daily break, um, you can do like watch little videos and stuff like that to win prizes. And one of the prizes that I won was a year's worth of the Sargento, um, like the little three pack snacker things. And I won a year's supply. And so that was in June, 2017, when I found out that I had won. Our family usually goes on the annual beach trip every September. And by the time we went to the beach in September, so I guess it must've been somewhere around July or maybe August, whenever we went. Um, we went vegan so during that time by the time we went to the beach we were vegan <laughs> so <laughs> I ended up giving a lot of those coupons away to um, to my family members and to friends because you know we couldn't use them and so that always sticks out in my mind so we've been vegan for well the kids and I have been vegan since 2017 my husband and I watched the documentary what the health and after I saw it, it just completely changed how I looked at a lot of things. And 
I, that very night, I was just like, my husband was like, so I guess we're not eating meat anymore, huh? And I was like, yeah, guess not. And so <laughs> he stayed the course for a little while and then um, he decided not to. So whenever he's, you know, at work and out and about, sometimes he'll take things for lunch. Um, but for the most part, I mean, he had, has always enjoyed eating out for lunch. So whenever he's not home, um, he doesn't. But the kids and I do, and I've never looked back. I absolutely don't miss um, the meat at all. Like, there's plenty of meat alternatives now, and my kids really enjoy them. But I just, I don't miss it. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um, and let's see, do I have any other ones down? You want to say hey? <laughs> um, and I think I addressed this one. Yeah, I did. What was my provision before I was um, a social worker? And now I am stay-at-home homeschooling mom to an 11-year-old, a 9-year-old, and seven. thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I hope that it has answered some questions about me that maybe you have had. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day, and I will see you guys soon. <laughs>